Hey, what's going on guys? Captain Dr. Spock here. Bringing you some more fishing planet. Today we're on Mud Buddy Mud Water River, Missouri. We what's going on here? What can I Oh, confusing. Why's my fishing pole not allowing me to cast? Anyway, Looking past all that strange. I'm going to have to go check something for a But, today, we're just going to do some bobber fishing. Catch up with what's going on, what's been going on. See how big of a catfish we can't catch. Oh, what oh, the hell? Okay, what's going on here? Okay, now how are you guys doing? I... that was really painful. I was just unprepared for that all to go. Tackle the ground? Kitty? Un... Ridiculous. Anyway. That was... kind of rough right now. Anyway. We're gonna just do some bobber fishing at the moment here to. Oh, there's a new drag system. Is that just the new pull? Yeah, that's new. The drag. Check that out. I guess. I don't know. But anyway. We. are gonna just see what size of fish we catch. I put my biggest hook I have, which is a 4 out hook, and we put meat. Just small cut bait, because that's the only meat I have. Then we're just going to fish and see what we can catch. So, now that we have that established, I'm going. How have you guys been? You guys been doing anything fun? Interesting? I've sure been doing a lot of ups and downs, and wearing myself out more than I probably should be, but... Been having a good time. Been having a really good time. Ah, oh, so for the last week I've been trying to get my screen resolution and quality, video quality, much better. And I hope now I have it where it needs to be. It took me a while, but I think I got it where it needs to be now. So. Hopefully this will fix all my problems. Okay, so what is the video difference between these two then? Let's just flip this out real quick. I just did a little, a little micro setting there. I also moved the fan around. I was having some heat issues all of a sudden. And a little bit of high encoding problems. Let's see if this changes that I'd also like to see if I could get me something biting on this here fishing line yeah you guys been doing any hiking fishing I actually been doing both of them and I've been doing a little bit, well, I can't really say I've been doing bear hunting, but I've been looking for bear. Somebody that's bear hunting. <laughs> and that was a hell of a day. Hiking all. Wish I would have been aware of the fact that they were logging that before I hiked up, though. Just a little bit of information to have. Huh. Okay. Next time. We are just about to hit the curve of the bite for today. It's uh, one of those later, like 12 and on, down like the four something bites. So keep casting out. Might not. I just might not be casting in the right spot. I actually cast over here because that's what I feel. 
I feel like there'll be fish over there. Yes, I actually, I don't even know what the depth of my hook is set at. That I think about it. Oh well. That's okay. I wonder if we'll even catch a bowfin, maybe. Well, I don't even rephrase all that. We probably will catch a bowfin. We're using a four-out hook. That's the only thing. We're using a really big hook. It's a catfish hook, too. But, uh... Yeah. See, I just don't even... I just want to go for big fish today, so... It might take me a long time. It might not be a long time for you guys, but... Yeah, it might take a while. But I'm okay with that. Catch some lunkers today. Here we go. Getting a bite. Ooh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, wow. That was a big fish. Okay, so let's uh huh. Oh, let's put some I'm so flustered here. Sixteen? Yeah, let's put sixteen on there. As much sixteen as we can get. Mine is too strong. Uh don't care. Mine has to be strong. Put that four out hook back on there. Get the small cut bait. Okay, guys. We're gonna cast back out over there like that. I have a good feeling about this. I put stronger line on, so hopefully it won't just snap it. Whatever that was. That was a big fish! That was a big fish! We're gonna kick down the drag a little there. That was a little too much. Um. That was crazy. That was a big fish. We already got something checking it out again. Almost, almost pretty, pretty instantly. I might, no, that's not Dragon Bottom. That's a bite. Yeah, we're getting bait. Man. That was, can that have been an alligator gar? I don't know. a heavy fish though and I set the hook and it was pretty much snap the line well, snap the line time <laughs> that's good stuff good stuff well let's see if I can get him to bite again if I can I'll bring you guys back to watch that epic battle because it's gonna be an epic battle. That's a. Uh, I think he might even break the pole if I'm not careful. So find out about this one. <sighs> I really haven't been up to too much here this last week. This morning I got up and painted the wall in the gym. Don't helped out the jits coach, jits, jits, jujitsu coach. Got that done. Did some fly fishing last night. I really need to get some new lines so I can tie up a new leader, a fly pole. Get that done. Need a new line for all my other fishing poles. I need to get some real grease. Yeah, I'm kind of slacking in a sense. Got the curls. Got a little, little, little. I got the girl's car lights working again. That was a pain, but it's done. It works. It's over with. Thank, thank the gods. Yeah. Anything interesting going on on the other side of the realm? Anybody? Let me know. I'd like to like to hear it. Down in the comments below. Don't be afraid. Okay. We just got to recast because I kind of goofed up and move the, the mouse around and it pulled the bait and it accidentally went for a set hook and just 
We recasted it back out to get it back over there. I'm pretty sure whatever whatever snapped us off the first time isn't going to snap us off this time. Got some pretty heavy line on there now. So, let's see if we can't catch whatever that was, because that'll be amazing. Oh, glad that wasn't recorded. Just about jumped out of my seat there, sitting here in this the quietness, listening to the water slosh against the shore. And all of a sudden my phone erupts in an alarm, letting me know that my ghee is done being washed and it needs to be put into the dryer. All my clothes, actually, not just my ghee. Yes, in my ghee. So after I either... Oh, I'm getting a bite. I was about to say after I either get a bite or miss a fish here, I'm going to go change that out. But it looks like we're getting a bite right now. So, there we go. Very nice. Let's see what we got here. I want to increase the drag ever so much, but not enough to break the line. 16 pound test is just barely holding us here. Oh, this is awesome. Very nice. Uh, he's still peeling me, though. That's the only problem. Yeah. There we go. Finally making some ground on him. What could it be? It's going to be a big fish, whatever it is. I couldn't have done this with the old reel. The old reel can't hold that much. It only holds three, three and a half pounds. This one at least holds, you know, six pounds or something like that. Yeah, look at that fish. What is it? What is it? Oh, oh a four pound bowfin. That is awesome. Okay. That was a nice catch. We're going to cast it right up in here. See what we can't catch. That's a nice, nice bowfin. Got a lot of fight. Only being four pounds, you know. He's put up way more fight than that. Oh, I was supposed to go change the clothes. One more cast. One more cast, yeah. We'll just go one more cast. Yeah, I think I'm going to get the fly pole. I'm going to retie. I got a little bit of extra line I can use to make another leader. Because last night while fly fishing, I accidentally got a knot in my leader. Thankfully, it was at the very end down by the fly, but still I'm going to have to cut and retie on some leader to keep my tip going. Just sad, but I got some six pound test here somewhere, I think. can tie on there and we'll be good to go. I'm bringing that bait right up next to those lily pads over there. All these right here. And we're going to see if we can't pull something off of that. Ooh, is that a bite? Yeah, we're getting a bite. Gotta be ready. As we've seen with the last fish, they take it and run. Where's a, I did have a bite there. We'll, we'll see. I think I was just saying something about floating it next to these lily pads and pulling something out, so... Like I said, just have to be ready for it. We might even switch the sides of the river. We might even go stand on that side of the river and cast over here. See what that does. Change it up a little. Doesn't seem like we're getting... the attention we just had there. Okay guys, I will definitely bring you back once whatever that was. Yeah, once whatever that was comes back. Here we go, getting a bite. Yeah, he's gonna take it. Alright. Oh, yeah, he's still there. It's a pretty assertive little bite. It makes that bobber go under. There we go. Very nice. That's a good, nice. That's a nice one right there. Yeah, 
Yeah, got that drag almost close to 10. It's snapping that line, but not quite. And the drag's going to do its job just enough. Catching some big fish here today. I tell you, that looks like another bowfin. Yeah, that's another bowfin. Look at that. Five pound bowfin. 25 inch fish. That's a nice fish right there, I tell you. I tell you. Ha! Told you guys only one more cast. Switch over the laundry. Okay. Let's, uh, let's cast over here. Let's cast right there. Let's see what we can't find. So I know earlier I said something about big catfish. Then again, I also think I said something just about big fish in general. So, as you see, we're already up to 10 pounds on the stringer, and that was only like two or three fish. So, we're gonna we're gonna just stick to catching just big fish in general. And if we catch a giant catfish, awesome, love it. But big fish in general, I'm not gonna be specific today because. It doesn't seem like today to be specific. Although it's nice that we're catching, you know, four plus pound fish. Oh, I love it. Has probably something to do with the giant hook that we have, though. <gasps> oh, that was a nibble. We just had a little bite. Let's see if we can't get him to take it. Because that's what it's all about. Get him to bite that hook. Let's see here. People say something about catching gars over here, right over where I'm like casted, or, or to the right of that. I think you stand at Pike's Challenge, which is the efficient spot down the trail to the right. Me, I'm not gonna move the pole. I can move a little bit, but right down to the right over here, sticks. That is the other efficient spot that you can walk to. You can't spawn to the side of the river, and. Supposedly, across from that spot, you can you can catch pike pretty good right over here, I think? I don't know. I'll have to try it out sometime. I don't quite think I have the gear to catch pike yet, so... All in time. All in time. And I also will bring you guys back once I get this, this bite going. You know what? In fact... Let's not even wait for this bite to come back. Let's just... Let's just go over there. Yeah. Let's go over there as a team. Together, you know. Because it's always safer to be... The, with a buddy in the woods. Buddy system. Because the woods are dangerous. Especially this time of year when you're fishing. All the salmon in the river. Well, at least around where I live. There's a bunch of salmon coming up river. And you know what? Love salmon. Bear. So, you guys are out in, you know, any area that have that kind of stuff. You guys be careful. You watch for them bear. It's, it's one thing to catch a nice fish. It's one thing to get mauled by a bear. So, just keep your head on a swivel out there, guys. Gonna catch me a fish. Oh, yeah. I'm working the bait way too fast. To catch a fish like this, oh yeah. I need to slow down to catch a fish, oh yeah. So I will slow down to catch a fish, oh yeah. Okay, so instead of casting where we cast it, we're gonna reel it back in and cast it right against these reeds right here. I think this will be great. There he is. Okay, guys. We're going to try this out, see what we find, and get you guys back once we get something going on. Because, well, the amazing thing about watching video games is you don't have to sit through the boring parts, right? Never thought I would see somebody trying to convince somebody else of their Grand Theft Auto in Fishing Planet. I just, I never, ever thought, like if you guys, I don't know if you can read the chat, but I just, ugh. get out of here. Oh, we just got a bump. 
slight, slight bump, but a bump. Say it was a bump, I mean, literally, barely even seeing it come up, so I actually could have hit bottom. Yeah, I could have hit bottom. That's okay. Next time. have to change spots I guess. Oh, I also should have checked. I should have checked the depth of which I am fishing. Which I think I'll go do right now. So this in, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so like I thought, I was actually not fishing the depth that I thought I was fishing because like I told you guys in maybe a video before, Something about every time you go fishing, check your depth, make sure you're set to the depth that you want. Because it sets it to 10. Oh, guys. I caught those two both in at 10, 10 centimeters or 10 meters. 10, yeah, whatever it was, 10 instead of 69. So, now that we're set to the right depth, let's see what we can find. Because now we're actually fishing. Okay. We're going to go back up here. It, it it just it felt better we're actually catching fish we're gonna go back up here and we're gonna fish this little area cast it across right it's gonna go along that bank. we'll pull, we'll be able to pull up anything that would maybe be hang we're, we're on the shore hold Stuck on shore. Let's, let's pull it a little bit there. I don't know. Sure. Not deep enough. Uh, not deep enough. Not deep enough? Okay, there we go. We're deep enough now. Okay, guys. Now I'll bring you back once we got something going on. Here we go. Finally getting a bite. There we go. Very nice. It's probably another bowfin. I don't know if it's got the same amount of... Oh, it's not as heavy. I don't know what this is. I think it is just a bow. There's no... Oh, yeah. No, this is the smallest bowfin we've caught so far. Nice. Let's, uh... Cast right here. See what it's in the shadow. So I actually, I think if I remember right, I can't cast over here. Oh, I can. So I was gonna say I think it's too shallow, but obviously not. I can cast there. So I'll bring you guys back once we got a bite. Something we'll go. Some action. Okay, so it's not turning out very. Cool. So to be so, we're just gonna reel this in, and I also have to go change one. I gotta, I gotta do something with my keys real quick. So I'll be, I'll be right back, guys. It won't take me that long to get that done. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Had to uh, take the keys out and get them, get them hanging up for Brian. So we're gonna cast right here for drying out in the sun because it's a nice beautiful day here has been for the last couple days so we're gonna get the uh, cup bait sitting right next to these here little pads I bet there'll be another, another an, I bet there'll be another bow fin sitting down in here I have a good feeling 
almost want to just go back over where those kayaks were and cast back over this way. That just seems seems more what's that called? Uh, preferable? In fact, we might just do that. We might just reel in and go back over there and fish this way. Yeah. Okay. What's this? What's this? I didn't know about this spot. Nice. Okay, let's cast right. I had no idea this little nook and cranny little spot was here. Awesome. Oh. Shallow. It's really deep, really fast right there. That's awesome. Okay, guys. This will be the new spot right now. Sit here and see if we can't get anything to check out the hook and bait. Bring you guys back what something does. You know, not a hundred percent sure. That totally looked like something. Yeah, something gave it a bite. Oh yeah. Something's checking it out. Just gonna let it hang out there. This is the suspenseful part. It's like a dome. Okay, time to uh, time to reel this in. We're gonna recast down just a little bit from where we cast the last time. To and see what we can find. That was my buddy asking me to jump on, so it helped to help him go find the tribe of pig that raided us today. Killed all the dinosaurs. I have to go up the gym. I think it's getting a bite right there. Certainly seemed like something. Made some tension on the line there for a second, but we'll try that. And yeah. See how. Let's see if we can catch something sitting next to that piece of grass. Uh, I, I, I was just spacing out there. I think I just got a bite. Not really sure what just happened. Yeah, I messed that just, I may have messed that one up. Oh, no, he's still there. Still checking it out. Okay, just leave it alone. Don't touch it, Sean. Let the fish do its job. There we go, right there. I'm gonna say, let the fish do its job. And it did. Beautifully did its job. It's got it egged. It's just trying to run on me. I don't think I... There's the bobber. There's the bobber. Down to the surface. That looks like another bowfin. Nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Another five pound both and awesome. Okay guys. I'm gonna call it there. Those are some nice fish, and that also pretty much fills up the stringer. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support you guys give. If you could please like, subscribe, and comment. Comment, let me know what you want to see, let me know if you like it, let me know what you don't want to see. I'm down to hear anything. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Have a good